Super Hornet is going to be fundamentally important for the future of Australia's air combat force. Block 2 Super Hornet is an awesome machine. Royal Australian Air Force are going to love this aircraft. The F 18F is certainly the start of this new generation. This aircraft is a game changer. for about 25 years now. Uh, the F-18 has provided the backbone of Australia's air defence and air strike capability. The F-18 uh, Super Hornet really brings the next generation technologies into today's fight right now. We're not just buying a new leading edge platform, we're buying a new culture and we're buying into a close partnership with the US Navy in their spiral upgrade program. That gradual upgrade path that the US Navy works with the Super Hornet to meet all the emerging threats that we foresee coming we're very confident it's the right jet for Australia to meet those security challenges. I think the RAP is really looking forward to getting their hands on the Super Hornet. It brings a very low signature, an AESA radar, and an integrated weapons package that brings that whole picture into the cockpit. The person in the front seat could be doing air-to-air, -air, while the person in the back seat could be doing air-to-ground mission at the same time. The integration of this information in the cockpit is just incredible. The F-18EF Block II Super Hornet has a great reputation in the fleet and in combat. When I get into theater, when I get into combat, uh, I'm going to be bringing uh, a piece to, uh, to that battlefield that any ground commander can use. We have great confidence in our ability to deliver ordnance on time, on target. We can be linked uh, what's happening on the ground through a digital net system. This will allow the ground commander or any JTACs on the ground to pass the battle space management uh, in the air ground rule off to the F-18EF Super Hornet. The Boeing Company is proud to have a long relationship with Australia in commercial and military aviation. We are excited about the Royal Australian Air Force being our first international customer for the Super Hornet and continuing our relationship with them into the future. The Super Hornet Block II is the right aircraft for the RAF. It's got the capability that they need today and will need for the future. It comes at a very affordable price. It also helps to de-risk whatever solutions they decide to look at in the future. We're currently in Lemoore, California at Strike Fighter Squadron 122. We are transitioning six Royal Australian Air Force air crew. They've brought some of their own skill sets and they've taught us a few things and we've taught them a few things as well. Their uh, eyes are wide open, they're enjoying the experience and it's fundamentally going to reshape their combat group. Flying here in uh, at Naval Air Station in Lemoore. I got in this aeroplane and sitting in the cockpit and hey, you know what, I've been here before, this is a Hornet. But then when I actually went and flew the aircraft and go beyond just flying it and start fighting it, suddenly you realize this is a whole new ball game. This is gonna bring something really new and something special to the fight. Up the flaps. The good news with the Super Hornet is that it comes with existing off-the-shelf capabilities. We can be day one, minute one, able to use common technology that already exists uh, and flick the switch and turn this capability on. Their avionics are better, their link system is going to be better, their targeting pods are going to be better. They're also giving the uh, capability of tanking. They can tank with this aircraft, so we'll give them extended range. Uh, it's got the ability to be upgraded through software changes. Uh, it's a very smart aircraft, it's digital. The Super Hornet is a very maintainer friendly aircraft. It is going to have a very low uh, man hour required per flight hour, which is good news for the maintenance force. Uh, means we should be seeing very good maintenance serviceability rates for our aircraft when we get them home. And it has the ability as well to seamlessly integrate uh, as one air force operating with another air force. So no matter the coalition force, this aircraft is, is going to change the way we do business. The Super Hornet provides us the leading edge platform that's highly networked, that not just fits in with the rest of Australia's network defence force of the future, but it makes our classic Hornets and our Army and Navy surface units that much better. It really is going to be a key enabling node for our network defence force. This day marks... We 
have worked from the very start in a collaborative manner, side by side, in order to achieve the success of this program. It's been a very rapid, accelerated acquisition and development program. It's a great honour to be able to see this uh, project in from an idea and the conception through government uh, into seeing it and flying it with the US Navy and with the Boeing-led Super Hornet team. Today is a great day, but what's even more exciting is looking at the future, because this airplane is going to have capability inserted on a continuous basis to make sure that Australia is a superior air power well into the future. I'm looking forward to the day that we bring these aircraft to Australia. I'm looking forward to being part of that first formation, going across the top of RAF Base Ambly in my hometown of Brisbane, taking this aircraft around and landing this aircraft and coming.